Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 1.0.5. In this episode we're going to try and complete the Deimos missions. I've got alarms for the two mid-course plane changes here and if we take a look that's the that's the first one and then this was the second that one that we launched. It looks like the mid-course plane change on the second one that we launched does not have a Mars encounter to go along with it so that's a little bit troubling. Let's take a look at that one. That one is the one that we have to handle first anyway. It's mid-course plane change comes before the first one we launched. All very complicated. We'll try and sort it out. Okay, so here we are. Our time delay is already three seconds, but we're only two days out. Taking a look. We've got to be time warping with this one, so I'm hoping that the electric charge holds out just fine. We will check and see if I was completely wrong about that. But first let me tweak this this adjustment here because for some reason I guess once it exited the SOI have we exited the SOI of Earth? I guess so, yeah we must have. Alright, yeah maybe once we exited the SOI something changed. Oh there's one. Oh it's that sort of situation. It's it's a situation where it occasionally shows me it and occasionally decides to hide it. Alright Okay, so that's fine. Let us proceed. 88 second delay, but Smart ASS does not care about that. Okay, Asterisk is very stable. Let's get started then. Alright, correction underway. So I've turned off Smart ASS because otherwise it'll try and follow the node. Unfortunately, I can't activate SAS because we've got an 88 second delay. It took me a few tries to figure that out. Uh, so I turn it on, off, and then on again. But by the time it actually happens, it will be too late. Okay, let's do the rest with RCS. We do want to get in tight because then we'll get the help of the gravity of Mars to do these things that we wish to do. We would like to be flat with the orbit of Deimos as well, but that looks like it's going to be a trickier proposition. Well, it's a start. Okay. So we'll call that a thing and if we can catch it while it's blinking on we'll get the alarm in I'll just spam the add alarm okay uh, alright SOI change for Deimos 2A probe 156 days gives us plenty of time before the flyby requirement is out and we've got plenty of fuel um, yeah I think the engines just gimbling so that's why it's varying but let us make sure that we point our tail at the sun so we can retain our electric charge okay here we are with the Deimos 2 probe 106 second delay here and uh, we've got less fuel so a bit more trouble and it looks like our electric charge is problematic but I guess we'll just focus on the Deimos 2A probe right and focus well first of all it's not got its tail Let's see what its real electric charge situation is. Tail to the sun, and then we'll see what it's like while time warping. But probably still not good. That's why we made changes to the other one. Okay, well, yeah, I'll just call it. I think it's like 0.05 short already. And we're not even to Mars yet. Right, make sure it's going to point at the node. No connection. Oh, uh, darn it. Our electric charge got diminished. Just time warping two days. Okay. Well, that's a problem. I'm going to have to unlock this battery to get connection back. I'll lock it again on the trip to Mars. Let's see. Is fuel settled? Yes. All right. Ignition. We have a very interesting sort of trajectory going here. I'm gonna get rid of this maneuver. Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh well, anyway, I can see what's going on. 
Something was very confused. At least we've got the orbit coming in here. Okay, now the problem with using RCS here without being able to enable SAS, of course, is that it might start a rotation. Seems to be stable for now. No, nope, we've got a rotation going, you can see that. Can I get the orbit in quickly enough before the rotation throws us completely off and I have to change which RCS thruster I'm firing? Probably not. So 1.1 1 .1, uh, is in the public beta phase right now. And I guess maybe it'll help with the orbits? Maybe? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna leave it be like that and I'm going to execute orientation to the Sun I'm going to add the SOI change when it pops up da, da, da. looks like this is the first one in that's good because this is the one with less resources improved electrics well hopefully improved electrics will help us avoid these situations in the future I know I should have made even bigger solar panels but uh, solar panels do have mass. Uh, recall that uh, just sizing up the solar panels for Deimos 2A resulted in that thing uh, not having enough avionics. <laughs> I uh, to size up the solar panels, I should have you know reduced the size of the tank. It turned out all right, but it was dodgy for a bit there. Okay, smart ASS off. I mean, we're going to be deviating a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. Smart ASS did not do a very good job of keeping us steady at all. Alright, now SAS is engaged. Very good. So if I turn the probe core off, will SAS turn off as well? No, it doesn't automatically turn off. Good. Okay. That is important. We are now going to start time warping. Yeah, we are short on electric charge, but I'm playing that trick by locking the battery. Okay, here we go. Let's be cautious. We are going to turn on the probe core. We are going to execute the orientation command. I am going to plot for a flattening maneuver so that we can get closer to the orbit of Deimos. Now this tact of getting close to Mars might not be the best thing. It depends how the numbers work out and I haven't actually done the calculation of whether the Oberf effect from Mars really gives us enough benefit. Because we're going to have to boost our orbit out, uh, basically we're going to have to boost our orbit out again to the orbit of Deimos. That's, that'll be the velocity matching burn when we get into Deimos orbit. So it's going to take more to get into Deimos orbit from this tight pass than it would be from a loose pass. Let's see, let me add a maneuver here to get into orbit around Mars. Now, if all else fails, this will still be a uh, Mars communication satellite. We'll dump the Able core and then it'll be electrically happy. Well, that's not bad, is it? Look at that. That's pretty darn close. Maybe we can do something with that. Holy mackerel, there's a Deimos encounter. Okay, well, uh, we'll try for that. Might be a little bit touchy. 1,890 meters per second there. Once we get to Deimos, let's take a look at this encounter. We don't have much time in the Deimos SOI, I know this. Oh, uh, we, we'll be going the wrong way. Relative inclination has got to be... A, oh, we're, we're going the wrong way. Ah. Hmm. Maybe we should fix that first. Ah, oh, darn it. It was such a good encounter, though. But we can't we can't flip our entire orbit, that's for sure. How did I not catch that? Wishful thinking, clearly. 
Okay, so we need to um, we need to fix that. So so much for that encounter. Oh, now we can't actually make a maneuver. Joy. Okay, well let's just let's just do the thing in basic fashion. So we need to. No, actually we need to do a lot of things. I really would like to make a new maneuver, KSP. I know I haven't been very good with maneuvers so far. Let's try this. You have to talk to the game, coax it to do what you want it to do. Convince it that it is in its best interest to do what you want to do. Okay, a uh, happy KSP is a productive KSP. Okay, we're not gonna be able to correct our relative inclination very well. All right, let's see about that that orbital burn once again. Now we do have some locked fuel in the probe, so this isn't all the Delta V that we have. But the probe doesn't have that much. It was really only meant for landing. And there does not appear to be any semblance of an encounter anywhere near it. Deimos is our target. Thousand eight hundred and thirty-three to get into orbit around. Mars. Can we get the sending node in a better location, maybe? No, our Mars periapsis goes pretty low in that case. Well, let's try this, and hopefully, at some point, we will have an approach that works. Now, we need a line of connection back home, and it looks like where we've got the maneuver node we should remain in connection so that's good but once we start getting like past that descending node there we might be having problems maybe we should use this opportunity to flatten out our orbit a little bit let's see it's not necessarily the best time to do it let's see how much it'll cost though and then we'll have to bring the orbit in a little bit more oh that's really expensive let me just do a straight retro burn Feels like that's way too expensive. Feels very stable. But we've got some time to denote, actually. So there has been issues with landing on Deimos before. And if it turns out we have the same thing, I'll quick save before attempting to actually land on Deimos this time. And uh, I think there's something about PQS levels that can be changed in in the RSS Copernicus configuration that might be able to help us land safely. But I'm not going to change that yet until I actually encounter the problem again. But I'll remember to quick save to make sure that we get a chance to make that fix if it is required. I'm a bit concerned that uh, somehow the RTGs are not giving me the power that they advertised. It was supposed to be the case that this probe would have sufficient power, but the able core only says it's requiring 0.2. So that means the upper portion is draining more than it's generating, that's for sure. But it was supposed to be electrically balanced. So that's not nice. Uh, it says no connection now. We didn't pass. I thought we did have a connection at this point. Or would have a connection at this point. I guess we don't. Well, I think it's time to see how serious Remote Tech is about that. Feels very stable. Oh look, not very serious at all. All right, orbital burn underway. Okay, looks like we're about to make orbit, but we're not gonna have much fuel left in this stage. In the Deimos 2A, we have about a thousand meters per second extra. Wow, it's actually going 
I thought we'd have more in this stage, but I guess the Delta V here is being deceptive today. Yeah, it's being very deceptive. It looked like we'd have hundreds, but now it looks like we'll have nothing. That Delta V reading was completely wrong. Uh, I think it's the same reason why we're not having, we're not getting a stage Delta V. Yeah, I think it it's messing up. Okay, that's not very helpful. Yeah, so I guess that means the Delta V on the other probe might be wrong as well. That's not good. We at least need a Deimos flyby. That will pay for stuff. Deimos landing... Well, I mean, uh, I think we're, we're gonna take a hit on that if we don't get it. And uh, position a satellite, we, that we have enough time to launch at the next window, maybe. Okay. Looks like 109 meters per second. Oh, come on. Okay, maneuver node editor time. But how much to get into orbit? Good thing the required orbit is polar. On reflection, maybe equatorial would have been better. Doesn't show me any periapsis. Also worrying. But let's say we add a man mm, It's doing that thing where it's not showing me the maneuver here. Okay, that looks like a good match. I suppose if I try and add a maneuver here again, yeah, it does the same thing. So no point trying to make a maneuver ahead of time to figure out if I can actually get into orbit. Focus on the flyby. Alright. We'll hang on to the solar panels until we absolutely have to let them go. Let's lock this probe core again, because otherwise we won't have enough power. Much dubiousness, I know. Um, no guarantee we'll have connection at the point where we have to do the maneuver that's not, no that's Triton out of all things uh, looks like that's Earth yeah I'll be might be obstructed let me add alarm and don't ask me to use flight computer. It can't hold the node to save its life half the time. Okay, well we have to stage. Oh, now we lost connection. I thought we would have connection here. Oh, but uh, we need to unlock the battery. And staging does require connection, so. All right, we are going to now stage. And now we have to wait 10 minutes. Uh, so not the best timing here. Okay, other side please. Right, so the drain is bad. Okay, uh, we want to... Oh, the node is no longer here. Oh, joy. Uh, okay, we need to replot the node. Okay, there's an encounter. Should I be precise about it. Maybe I'll just start it out and then we'll fidget with it afterwards. Okay, here we go. I guess I can just throttle up, right? The thruster placement does not make this very efficient, but this was really only supposed to have fuel for landing. Nope, no encounter yet. Okay, we're gonna have to make a further adjustment of some sort. Okay, uh, that should be a good enough start. I don't suppose it's gonna let me check whether I get into orbit or not. Let me just not waste time trying. Okay, it's turning to the node. Okay, I'll take that for now. 
Okay, well, let's get into Deimos Sphere of Influence. I have no idea how much Delta V I actually have right now. It's definitely, I mean, it might be like 200. It's not much. Okay. Yes, add the alarm. Otherwise, uh, we could very easily shoot right through the Deimos Sphere of Influence. And we will proceed. We're probably not in there for very long. Just like a few seconds kind of thing. Um, it's going to take some effort. You can see Deimos, Encounter, and Escape are basically instantaneous. Let's see. Uh, let me stop Time Warp for a sec. Yeah. Look, Deimos Encounter, Deimos Escape, same time. It's not the best approach to Deimos either. Let's see what our relative velocity to target is. Oh, I can't show that. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Um, focus on Deimos. Right around here, we really, really, really need to be able to plot for orbit. It really doesn't want to let me do that. See, it, it makes the... Because it's only like one second, it pushes it out there, which isn't very helpful. No, not at all. I really don't know how I'm going to do this, because it's not showing me target relative velocity. That is... I wonder if um, Smart ASS will know the direction. I don't think I have enough time in Deimos Sphere of Influence to do any science to fulfill the Deimos flyby contract. And the science is actually connected to remote tech. So I would have to time it perfectly. Right? Because only one second kind of thing. That. So we really have to get into orbit to be able to do the science. Well, okay, it's it's that marker. I just don't know how much. So this might work. Let's get closer. Now, it's not pointing at the negative relative velocity. It's pointing at the anti-target pointer, which is not the same thing. What would I have to do to match velocities with Deimos? Let's just examine that thing. I have to boost orbit a bit. Uh, adjust like that. I have to flatten out as well. Looks like it takes like about 700. The other probe can do that. I don't think this probe can. So it is it happens to be in the same direction as the negative target vector. I don't know if there's a rule about that, but it seems like this is the right direction. See, I've now matched orbits, and it happens to be the same place. So, all right, power on. Our thrusters are firing. We'll try our best. At the very least, I would like to get a longer encounter with Deimos. If we could get, you know, two seconds. Still probably too tight. I, I'm i probably already past the point where I should have queued up the science. Any experiment. Recover and transmit. Below, well, below 20,000 kilometers is easy. Any, any pass into Deimos sphere of influence will do that, but I can't do the science. Well, let me just queue up the science. Uh, something's happened. Oh, it's auto-saving. Yeah, 11 minutes. It's not going to be any good. No, I didn't want to change the name tag, actually. Here, let's just do all the things, but it's too late now, really. Alright. Still don't see more than a second in Deimos' sphere of influence. We might be able to... There's Deimos. 
I hope we're not gonna smack into it. I think I've done that before. Demos Impactor. We do not have a Demos Impactor. Why don't we have a Demos Impactor thing? Contract. I guess you can't transmit the information quickly enough. Distance to target 70 kilometers, still not within its sphere of influence. Sixty kilometers, still not within its sphere of influence. Fifty, not really there yet. Now we are in its sphere of influence, and what a jolt! New simulation body unlocked. Unfortunately, I did not. It looks like our uh, encounter is actually longer than one second. Hey, you that was bad advertising. Uh, actually, we passed escape according to this. Wait, did we pass escape? No, we haven't passed. Wait, it says we passed escape back there. But we haven't passed escape. It was lying all along. We actually have a lot more time. I could have done the experiments, darn it. Maybe I could hit it again. Wow, uh, our periaps is only 9... Point nine kilometers. Okay, let me um, quit thrusting here. Maybe we can pass by it again and try and do the science properly. I should just get I should get some points for this, darn it. Oh well. There's a little bit of a problem there. Doesn't bode well for landing. The terrain is bugged out. Okay, so we're gonna fly right by. It doesn't look like any of the experiments are gonna happen in time. Even though the exit time is way ahead of where we thought it would be. This is our current situation. Mars periapsis has been lifted. I don't know what kind of cycle we might be in with respect to Deimos. We will find out. So I need to not believe the encounter times so much. Okay, we are now... We're still exiting Deimos sphere influence. Now we have exited. Okay. That's important because I need to plot for the next go around. Okay, well, we can transmit the atmospheric pressure in space high over Mars. That'll get us 24 science. We reset that one. We've done that before. And we reset the gravity scan. Okay, we got the science. Well, that's something, anyway. Okay, there is another encounter. With a periapsis. 72.3. I think we can swing that. I think we can do that. 18 days. Well, let's try it. Okay, let me get rid of the alarm. Say... SAS, uh, smart ASS to the node. Unlock the battery. And start burning. We actually have connection this time. Marvelous. Okay, I do notice that we have one little unit of depleted fuel from the plutonium. 0.01 has been depleted. And we are getting close to the end of this burn. Hopefully we'll have our encounter with Deimos, though it's tough to say. That's looking more off than I expected. What gives? Okay, I guess I'll have to go with this. Uh, 47.8. We have to do it pretty quickly. 
I don't know if we have that much. Alright. Uh, that'll have to do for now. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. We're aiming just for a flyby now, obviously. We're not going to be able to make orbit. Alright. Let's be careful. Let's turn off the battery. We'll just let it keep spinning for now. So now we have got an encounter at 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Escape in 17 minutes. So it's a, that's a whole minute and 45 seconds to work with. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm just going to sort of spam them. So I'm going to unlock this battery, analyze the telemetry, just right now I'm going to start queuing them up. Um, it would be really helpful if we could point in a particular direction instead of just spinning around. I know we don't have too much fuel and it might change our approach to it quite dr drastically. I hope not too much. Might end up crashing into it. So that says 12 minutes or so. Still got two minutes left then. Oh, this has a different telemetry. We might as well try that. Record impact data. And are we closer? Those should occur in the sphere of influence. But the barometer and the Small instruments might not. Let's try those again. And maybe there's a low over, so let's take a look at the periapsis. So there might be a high over Deimos and a low over Deimos. Who knows? We're getting pretty darn low over Deimos. Let me take a look at what that looks like right now. Doesn't look like a crash. Doesn't look like a crash. Okay, well that should do it. Where is this forlorn rock? There it is. Okay, we will approach. And we will be stopped many, many times by flight computer. Nothing yet. Okay, we should start getting some stuff in the next batch. Not in the right SOI just yet. So not this one. Not this one. Nope, but we switch SOI and now the Ranger Block 1 core will get something in Deimos SOI. And we can transmit. And micrometeorite detector, high over Deimos. We'll wait until the other one is finished transmitting. Okay. That was done. Alright, telemetry analysis, high over Deimos. It didn't add... I don't think it added uh, science yet, though. Oh, now it's added some science. Okay, try that. We fulfilled the contract. The most flyby is fulfilled. Okay, that data uploaded. Transmit data. Oh, we have already did that. Okay. Gravity scan over Deimos' highlands. That's different. Yeah, yeah, record. Transmit. It's not updating the science very well, though. Now it did it. But I hope... We should be getting more than that. I don't know if it's really getting it. It says done. But then it doesn't uh, give me science. Hmm. Yeah, it says done, but it didn't give me any science. 
This gravity scan should definitely give us signs. Oh, we switched SOI. I wonder why there's a big jolt whenever you change SOI. Just says done. It doesn't update our science. Anyway, we got the contract fulfilled, so that's nice. One of the contracts. Obviously, we didn't do so well on the getting into orbit around Deimos, nor landing on Deimos, but we have hopes that the other probe will take care of that. Let's go back to the Space Center to see if maybe the science gets updated there. No, it doesn't seem like we got as much science as we should have gotten. So that's an interesting question. Now I know there is an issue with remote tech in 1.0.5 where it doesn't update the science properly and I've actually already got a fix for that in. Maybe I should not have that fix in. I'm not entirely sure. Taking a look at the science archives. Uh, Mars, Deimos. Well we got... See, uh, we got the full value for the pressure scan. But it looks like we got no science for the gravity scan, mit micrometeorite detector, or telemetry analysis. And it actually admits such thing. It admits that it failed to give us any science for it. If any of you have seen this before, please tell me. I do want my science. Uh, and I, I want an answer before I get the second Deimos probe in because we can do the science with that one. So we'll need, uh, we'll need to figure this out before I get that one done. Alright, so on that note and on that plea for information, I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.